If you're gonna make a claim for lost income, you better have the receipts. Hi, I'm Seth Scott. I'm a personal injury attorney with Calfus and Nackman. Let's talk about how to get fully reimbursed for your lost income. First, if you're gonna miss time from work, a period of time, or if you're gonna to need to work in any reduced capacity for, for some time, you need to make sure that you get your doctors on board. I believe you when you tell me you can't work, but the insurance adjusters, the judges, and the juries that ultimately determine how much your lost income is, they ought to want a little bit more. And doctors are great sources for that. When you're being examined by your doctor, tell him what you do for a living. Tell him or her what your job requires, how long you have to sit, how long you have to stand, how much you have to lift, and ask if it's appropriate for you to return to work in a full capacity. If not, make sure your doctor provides you a written out of work note. If your doctor believes that you can work in some capacity and your job allows you to work in, in a light duty type of position, make sure your doctor writes down exactly what your limitations are, how long you can stand, how long you can sit, and how much you can lift at any given time. Once you have those documents, make sure that you provide them to your employer and have your employer document the same thing, that you're gonna be out of work because you're, you're injured and you're gonna be out of work for this duration of time, or you're gonna be working light duty for X amount of duration of time. Documentation is key for a lost income claim. Next, you need to keep track of every minute, every hour, and every day that you're missing as a result of your injuries or the treatment that you're receiving. Again, I believe you when you tell me you've been out of work 100 hours because you're in pain or because you've been going to doctor's appointments. But the insurance companies, the judges and the juries, they often want a little bit more. Often the best way to keep track of these things is, well, one, with your phone. You can pull up a note and keep track of every single day. You can have a spreadsheet on your computer where you keep track of things. Or you can keep a handwritten journal. Again, make sure that you're keeping track of every minute, every hour, and every day that you're out of work. Provide this documentation to your employer as well and make sure that they're documenting every minute, every hour, and every day that you're out of work. And make sure that they're doing that and noting that you're out of work because you're injured or because you're going to treatment. Document, document, document. These are your receipts and they're vital. This advice is also important for our clients who have small businesses or have side gigs. You need to make sure that you're documenting every lost opportunity that you have, every potential customer that you've lost, every meeting that you were supposed to have that you couldn't go to. Make sure that you're keeping track of all that. Often, it takes us months or years to get your case to an insurance company in, in, a, in the form of a demand and to begin negotiating or to get into court. Often during this time period, our clients forget the amount of time that they've missed from work and the opportunities that they've lost unless they've taken the time to document it. Again, documentation is key. If you cannot recall the amount of time that you've missed from work, the amount of wages that you've missed from work, and the amount of opportunities that you've had, you don't have a claim. Finally, many employers offer benefits like paid time off, vacation leave, sick leave. And these benefits can be vital during the time that you're injured and treating for your injuries. They can keep money coming in and help you pay the bills while you're out of work. In many cases, our clients are concerned that they're not entitled to make a lost income claim because they've been using their paid time off benefits, that they'd be double dipping in that case, and they don't wanna do that. But the defendant is not entitled to your hard earned benefits. They don't get the benefit of what you've worked for. So you need to make sure that you're documenting every vacation day that you use, every sick day that you use, and why you're using it. Best practice would be to have your employer do the same thing. That way, you can keep track and recall which vacation days you used as a result of the accident and which six days you've used as a result of the accident, and you can use that to make a claim later on. If you can't recall the, the sick days that you've used, if you can't recall the vacation days that you've used to treat for your accident, you don't have a claim. You may be wondering why I'm telling you this, because maybe you're a person that's lost income as a result of an accident, and you're wondering, how are you gonna recoup this income down the road? This is a question that I answer every day. I help my clients recover their lost income every single day. So what I want you to do, if you have questions about lost income, pick up the phone and call me, Seth Scott. I'm a personal injury attorney here at Calfus and Ackman. Thanks for watching.